product goes in your denture as a very short term temporary realign. Once installed, it will fill in the gaps that you are needing and you can then have a better fit and apply adhesive if needed. Compared to other soft relines on the market, Cushion Grip is a great choice for a fair price. So for a one ounce tube, you can get on Amazon for $10. Each application of Cushion Grip lasts about four days. Now I've been using Cushion Grip for the past week and a half. I've learned the things to do and not to do. And I will tell you and show you in this video on what you need to do to get a good fit for the cushion grip material. So the first step is to clean and dry the denture completely. While that is happening, you should have the cushion grip tube in a cup of very hot water to soften. It needs to be in the hot water for five minutes. Then remove the cushion grip tube from your water. Once you take the cap off with the key, you'll want to squeeze out about a marble size amount of the cushion grip material. Put that on your denture and reapply the cap. Softly push it into the groove to evenly spread it out. So each time you remove the cap to get more cushion grip, you'll want to put the cap back on. Like I mentioned, doing this is to keep the cushion grip from squeezing out of the tube by itself. So you want to keep putting on small amounts of the cushion grip around the groove of the denture to get an even thin layer to fill the gaps. So once the cushion grip is in the groove, this is what it will look like. You are now ready to put the denture in your mouth. For my application, I did not need cushion grip in my lower denture. I put that denture in first. And now you're ready to insert the top denture. Put it in place, press in firmly, and then clench down on your jaw. Keep your mouth closed to give pressure to the denture. Do this for five minutes. Okay, now, so once you have the cushion grip in your dentures, you insert them, push them into place. You will now keep the dentures in place. Do not remove them. So at first, the cushion grip will feel like adhesive. It will hold very well and it's curing. After about two to three hours, it will loosen up because it's cured some so that adhesive feeling will be no longer. So now mine literally has been two hours since and it pops right out. So one thing you can do now is any pieces that are overhanging and it's still pretty soft you can grab it and kind of stretch it and rip off the excess if you wait until later on it will be more cured and you might need scissors or like a pocket knife or something so the big thing is put your dentures back in do not leave them out leave them in for the next six hours at least. After six hours, you're okay to take them out and store them at water at night. So I definitely recommend doing this at the morning time. That way you have at least the six hours to wear them for it to cure and harden up. If you put it in water too soon, it can cause problems. And if you do not put it in water after six hours, when you take them out, they can shrink up. So that's the big thing is make sure you wait six hours before taking them out and store them in water at nighttime when you are not wearing those. 
this is what the cushion grip looks like when it's completely fully hardened. To remove it, you'll want to soak it in hot water for about 10 minutes. Doing so gets it a lot softer and easier to remove from the denture. Here I'm able to easily grab the cushion grip and pull off big chunks at a time. At this point it was kind of difficult to remove so that's when I got some tweezers to be able to easily grab onto it. The tweezers allowed me to grab onto it and easily pull it out of the groove and remove it without any issues. Once it's all removed, there is no residue or any signs of the cushion grip.